afternoon. Welcome to Veterans Field on the campus of Greenfield High School. Today, this is a Red Hawk baseball on Frontier Community Access Tunnel. This is a Hampshire County League West matchup between the hosting Greenfield Green Wave and the visiting Frontier Red Hawks. I am Chris Collins along with Kevin Murphy and Alec Eckel. And a very interesting matchup on tap today. The Frontier Red Hawks coming in at 7-0, 1-0 in the Hampshire County League West. Coming off a 2-1 win over Belchertown on Monday. Taking on the Greenfield Green Wave, they are 6-2. They have not had a win or a loss in the Hampshire League West. So this is essentially a battle of unbeaten teams in the Hampshire League West. Greenfield coming in off of a 3-0 win over Palmer on Monday. Uh, Frontier comes in. Dylan Appenau got the win on the mound for uh, the Red Hawks against Belchertown. Seven innings pitched. Kalen Evans and Kieran Freeman had uh, RBIs for the Red Hawks. And Greenfield... Uh, actually coming off that win against Palmer and it was Joel Peabody who got the win on the mound. He also had a triple and an RBI and uh, also Jarrett Hart had an RBI single. The Wave had three stolen bases in that game. So these are two teams that can hit, that can field and they love, love to run. This could be a very interesting matchup. Could be some pressure on both the catchers, Colin Cloutier of Greenfield and also uh, Garrett DeForest of Frontier as uh, both these teams light it up on the base path. Good team speed, good hitting, and uh, all around good, uh, well-coached teams. Chris Williams coaches the Frontier Red Hawks, and of course, Tom Sushnik, the longtime coach for the Greenfield Green Wave. So we're just a few minutes away from the start of this one, getting the start on the mound for the Frontier Red Hawks is Ben Arnold. In fact, let's give you the starting lineups for both these teams. For the Frontier Red Hawks leading off and playing shortstop is Matt Hildreth. Ryan Bauman hits second. He plays second base. Connor Wake is the center fielder. Bats third. Jake Bryant is batting cleanup. He is the first baseman. Dylan Appenell is the DH. Karen Freeman in right field. Bats seventh. Kalen Evans, the third baseman, bats eighth. And Bryce Jordan, the left fielder, bats ninth. And Garrett DeForest, of course, is uh, also uh, in the lineup as well. For the Greenfield Green Wave, Owen Phelps leads off. He's the pitcher. Joel Peabody plays third base. Colin Cloutier is the catcher. He hits third. Hunter Campbell, the first baseman, bats cleanup. Jared Hart, the second baseman, bats fifth. Jake Sack, the left fielder, bats sixth. Batting seventh is Jake Sewell. He is the shortstop. Nate Hazelton is in center field, batting eighth. And Josh Phillips is in right field batting nine. And as I mentioned, on the mound, leadoff hitter, one of the best, I think, pure athletes in Greenfield High School right now, Owen Phelps. Uh, this guy's a, a great uh, football player. He's on the basketball team and now, of course, uh, on the mound today for the Greenfield Green Wave. Should be an interesting contest. Like I said, both these teams are considered to be the class of the Hampshire County League West, and uh, we will see. Uh, what happens in this game. I think Frontier would love to jump out on top, uh, get a quick lead, and try to protect it if they can. Of course, uh, they've got Ben Arnold uh, going for them, the big senior on the mound for the Red Hawks. Phelps has finished his warm-up tosses, and we are about to get underway here from Vets Field here on Frontier Community Access Television, our second broadcast of the season. Matty Hildreth stepping in. Right-handed batter. Matt's junior, and he will be the starting quarterback for the Red Hawks in the fall. And we are about to get underway. Phelps winds and deals. And that's a ball low. Ball two, and that actually gets to the backstop. So he'll get the head on the count here. Helps, winds, and deals. And that's a called strike. Two and one. Get 
Curveball outside. So we're looking at a three and one count. A lead off hitter, Matt Hildreth. And inside corner, strike called. That runs the count full three and two. Hildreth has tremendous speed. Oh, nice curve ball by Owen Phelps. Caught Hildreth looking. So, first out of the game on a caught looking. That brings up Brian Bauman, sophomore second baseman. Bauman, of course part of the Greenfield Green Wave hockey program, the cooperative program, one of the frontier players on that team this winter. Phelps winds and deals. And that is a ball inside to Bauman. Ball two, high and inside. Two and Ona Bauman, sophomore second baseman. Three and O, so Bauman way ahead on the count. Again, Phelps looking like he's having a little bit of trouble with his control, although he, he did strike out. Hildreth with a nice curveball to get that first out. And Owen Phelps right down the middle of that one. So three and one. The count to the second base from Bauman. On deck is center fielder Connor Wakis for the Red Hawks. Ground ball, stabbed at third. Over to first, nice play by Joel Peabody. Over to Campbell, and that is two gone. Great range there shown by Peabody, is able to snag that hard grounder. So two outs for Connor Wakis, center fielder. Sophomore center fielder. A good young talent on this Frontier roster. Helps deals. Curve ball right over the middle. Strike one. Still got that breaking ball working well today. Owen Phelps won the MVP this past uh, Turkey Day against Turner's Falls High School. He was the Greenfield MVP winner. Round ball again to third. Grab by Peabody. Ball throw off the line, but Hunter Campbell was able to make the tag retire the side. We have played one half inning from Veterans Field at the end of one half inning. It is nothing nothing. Greenfield coming up to bat. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. In the starting lineup for the Greenfield Green Wave, Owen Phelps will lead off. He's the pitcher. Followed by the third baseman, Joel Peabody, Colin Cloutier. The catcher bats third. Hunter Campbell, the first baseman, is the cleanup hitter. Jared Hart, second baseman, bats fifth. Jake Sack in left field bats sixth. Jake Sewell, the shortstop, bats seventh. Nate Hazleton, center fielder, is eighth. And Josh Phillips, the right fielder, bats ninth. And on the mound, Ben Arnold, the senior. When Ben's not pitching, he often plays second base, so he's a good, good infielder. Ben's got a good assortment of pitches, as I understand it, and can throw the heat. 
Defensively for the Red Hawks, Jake Bryant's at first base, Brian Bauman at second. Matty Hildreth is the shortstop. Kalen Evans is the third baseman. Bryce Jordan in left field. Connor Wakis in center. And Kiernan Freeman is the right fielder. Owen Phelps stepping in. As the wind is picking up for sure here. This could be interesting if the ball gets hit in the air. Arnold deals. Arnold a bit of a sidearm pitcher. Strike one is the call. Oh, another strike. Owen oh 2 quickly on Owen Phelps. Who has yet to swing the stick. And Phelps grounds this one foul up the first baseline. Count is still 0-2. Curveball, swing in the dirt, and fired down to first, and Phelps strikes out swinging. One out, and the batter will be Joel Peabody, the third baseman, had a couple of uh, good plays in that top of the first. Including one nice stop on the grounder by Bauman. Arnold winds and deals. Fastball on the outside corner, strike one. Tell you, Arnold is not doing much finesse pitching right now. He's throwing some serious heat here to start this game. Arnold winds and deals. Strike two on the breaking ball. Nothing in two to Peabody. High and outside. Makes the count one and two. The wind is really picking up for the West. Curveball, strike three. So back to back strikeouts, and Ben Arnold is dealing. Two out. And that will bring up the catcher, Colin Cloutier. Colin Cloutier, of course, had a great season on the gridiron for the Green Wave converted from a lineman into a pretty good running back. And now he is the recipient of strike one by Ben Arnold. Curveball outside, ball one. One and one. Fouled off. Makes the count one and two. And that one's fouled back to the fence. Still one and two. Lines and deals, curveball, number up the right, the first, the third base line. This is going to be an infield hit. So Cloutier kind of a, got jammed a little bit, and it was almost like a swinging bunt down the third base line, and he is aboard with two out. That brings up Hunter Campbell. The switch, or the uh, rather cleanup first baseman. So Cloutier, the first base runner of the game, first hit of the game. Ball low and outside. Hey, 
Arnold from the stretch. Steps off the rubber now. Time called. I don't know how much of a stealing threat Cloutier is. But these are teams that like to run. Arnold with a strike from the stretch. Count is one and one. Ball high. Arnold from the stretch. Curve ball popped up. Bauman puts it away for out number three. One run, no hits, no errors. We go to the top of the second. And no score on the scoreboard. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. So it'll be Bryant, Appenell, and Freeman to face Owen Phelps, who already has a strikeout in this game. Be joining us uh, hopefully for a number of these games. Our next broadcast scheduled is this Thursday night at Turner's Falls High School as the Red Hawks take on the Turner's Falls Indians. We also have some plans to do some softball. And depending on how these teams do, we could be doing some postseason coverage as well. So it's always good to get out on the road. You can watch these games whenever we have them at the FCAT Media page at YouTube.com. And of course, on your FCAT channel 12 and 15. Jake Bryant steps to the plate. He is a freshman, first baseman, clean up hitter for the Red Hawks, who again have not lost this season. They are 7 0, looking to make it 8 0 today and 2 0 in the league. A lot of, I think, uh, expectations for this baseball team from Frontier this season in terms of uh, contendership for a Western Mass title. Phillips winds and deals. Low ball one. Cloutier couldn't quite squeeze it. One ball, no strikes to Jake Bryant. Jake Bryant again, also part of that Greenfield Green Wave cooperative High school hockey team, there were I think a dozen kids from Frontier that were on that team that made it all the way to the playoffs this year before losing in the first round to East Hampton. Swing and a miss, one and one. And the lights are on here at Vets. Phelps. And Line drive to left field, but right there to snag it is Jake Sack. That's a good wood on that one, but it's a long out for Jake Bryant. That brings up Dylan Appenell, the sophomore DH. He also pitches and plays first. Appenel's first pitch swing, it's a base hit into left field. So Appenel has Frontier's first hit of the game. Appenel is aboard with one out. And that will bring up Kiernan Freeman, the right fielder. Kiernan, a lefty. Good try by Joel Peabody to snag that one, but just out of his reach. Now we have a courtesy runner, it looks like. Phelps winds and deals outside corner. And that is a strike. Trying to get the number on that courtesy runner over there. That would be Donovan Hoffman, the sophomore shortstop. So D. Hoff leads off, first base. 
Owen one to Freeman. High ball one. One and one. Rick Hoffman gives a little bit more speed out there. Which I'm sure is Coach Chris Williams' idea. Let's see if he can advance it. The wind is starting to pick up here in the Mets. And the clouds getting a bit ominous. Hopefully the rain will hold off. Ball outside. That's two and one now to Karen and Freeman. Karen's got one more year of uh, the Frontier, one more year of football. Look at the big things for him on the gridiron in September. High and outside, three and one now, so. Phelps struggling a little bit, scuffling. Oh, and a quick pickoff play, but Donovan Hoffman's able to get back. Phelps from the stretch. Throws back. Hoffman dives back safely. But clearly, Phelps keeping Hoffman honest over there at first. He is a threat to steal. Three and one the count. And a line drive to left. And nice catch made by Jake Sack throws it back in, so that's two outs. And the batter will be Kalen Evans, the third baseman. Kalen is uh, not only a great third baseman, but he's also a pretty good pitcher. You might actually see him in relief at some point today. Hoffman leads again off first. And let it throw over by Phelps. Strike at the knees, that was a bit low, but uh, Evans, I think, didn't like that call, didn't get it, though. Phelps winds and deals. Evans pops it up, foul territory. I don't know if anybody's gonna get to it, and it will fall in foul territory. It's a long strike for Kalen. I know that one a little bit. Chris Evans had some great moments this winter on the basketball court. Very athletic shooting guard for the Red Hawks. He's in his senior year, or his junior year, excuse me. He and Alex Sharp were a great backcourt tandem for the Red Hawks. High ball three. I would expect Hoffman to be off with the pitch here. And a ground ball foul. Kalen got last couple of uh, times he made contact, he's been out in front of it a little bit. Oh, and nearly threw that one away. Hunter Campbell was able to pull it down. Phelps winds and deals. And a line shot foul. Down the left field line, a couple of uh, inches away from being what would probably have been extra bases for Kalen. Phelps from the stretch. And that's actually a ball three. I thought it was a full count, but it's three and two now. Now it's a full count. Is that just missed on the outside corner? And a 
again, foul. It's Kellen Evans is making Ellen Phelps work here. Full count for Evans, two outs. Hoffman at first. Hoffman takes off, and Evans laces a base hit in the center field. Hoffman slides in safe, and Frontier is gonna have runners at second and third on the double by Kalen Evans. So, Frontier, two outs, a little rally here, as the runner is at second and third. And the batter is the left fielder, Bryce Jordan. So Frontier threatening here in the second. Chris Bryant, excuse me, Appenau had the uh, base hit and Hoffman running for him, leads off third. Evans is off second. Are you home already? Strike one to Jordan. And that one is fouled off. So quickly, two strikes on Jordan. High inside, ball one. Frontier with runners at second and third. On the top of the second, here from Vets Field. Phelps still working off the stretch. And the ball gets away from Cloutier, and Hoffman's going to score on the pass ball. One nothing Frontier. And Kalen Evans advances to second base, at the third base rather. It's one nothing Red Hawks. That one was just in the dirt and nothing Cloutier could do about that one. Two and two to Jordan. Just outside. Pop up, left field, and pulled in by Sack, and that ends the inning. So we have played an inning and a half, one run on two hits, and one man left on. We go to the bottom of the second, Red Hawks won, Greenfield nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Going out of the bottom of the second, it'll be Jared Hart, Jake Sack, and Jake Sewell for the Greenfield Green Wave. Who trail 1 0. Ben Arnold had two strikeouts in that uh, first inning. And he starts off with a strike on the outside corner to Jared Hart. Second baseman for the Wave. That's low, ball one, one and one. Curveball, ball, little bloop, 
Over the head of Evans, it's gonna be a base hit. So Hart is on with a single to left. It's gonna bring up Jake Sack, the left fielder. Jake's been busy in the outfield today, a couple of putouts. Ball outside to Sack. Curve ball outside, ball two. Sack ahead in the count. Strike on the outside corner by Ben Arnold. Makes it two and one. And Hart, the runner at first, courtesy of the bloop single to the left. Fouled off. That'll leave in the count at two and two. And that's going to be a foul tip into the mitt. Strike three. That is the third strikeout for Ben Arnold. And that brings up Jake Sewell. The shortstop. Sewell shows bunt, high outside ball one. School was squared around to bunt again. A pickoff attempt unsuccessful by Arnold. Sewell again shows bunt but swings away. Strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. Arnold looks the runner back. Lines and deals, ground ball. Bound one at second base. It's in front of it, throws to first. Not in time. Infield single for Sewell. That moves hard over to second. So Greenfield's in business. With the ground ball that Bauman was able to knock down, but that quick speed of Sewell is able to beat the throw out. Runners are first and second for Nate Hazel to the center fielder. One out, two on for the Wave. Arnold again from the stretch. Ball outside. 1-0. Hard at second, so at first. Swing and a foul tip. Evens the count at one and one. Nice crowd on hand for this one. This is a battle of two pretty good programs. Strike outside, one and two. The count to Nate Hazleton. Yeah. 
Gardner back to the pitcher. Arnold will go to first. And that's going to bring up. I'll move the runners over. So Hart's at third. Sewell's at second. And the batter will be the right fielder, Josh Phillips, with two out. Garrett DeForest comes out, talks to Arnold. Arnold winds and deals, strike one. Single here by Phillips, plates two, probably. He's behind on the count, 0-1. Nice pitch on the outside corner by Arnold. 0-2 now to Phillips. And Phillips stays alive, gets a piece of that one. Still 0-2 to Josh Phillips. Hart leads off third. And right back to the pitcher. Nice stab by Arnold, and he flips it to the first baseman, Bryant, to retire the side. No runs, two hits, two left on. We go to the third, and still Frontier 1, Greenfield nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Garrett DeForest will lead things off, the catcher, here in the top of the third inning. And then we go back to the top of the order, Hildreth and Bauman to follow. <coughs> Chris Collins, Kevin Murphy, and Alec Geckel here at Veterans Field in Greenfield for this Hampshire County League West matchup. Owen Phelps on the hill for the wave. Curve ball, off the outside corner, strike one. And DeForest lines back to the pitcher. Kind of got a uh, piece of it, but not much. And Phelps is able to snag it. One gone in the third, and that brings up Matty Hildreth, who struck out looking his last time up. Hildreth is the shortstop. Curve ball in for a strike. Nothing in one to Hildreth. Fastball, Hildreth pops it up. And it's going to be Hunter Campbell. He's going to snag it for the second out. Two up, two down for the Red Hawks. That brings up Brian Bauman, who was robbed of a base hit by the third baseman, Joel Peabody, in the first inning. And a great stab. Diving stab to his right. Curve ball outside, ball one. Dumps, fast ball inside corner. Strike one, one and one. Curve ball in the dirt, two and one. Bauman showing some restraint. That was a tantalizing pitch. Ground ball for foul, 
down the third baseline. Paparazzi is out in effect today here at uh, Veterans Field. Well, I feel like that's going to show up on social media somewhere at some point. Fastball in the dirt outside. Two and two. Bauman is going to walk. So the first base on balls issued today by Owen Phelps, and that brings up Connor Wakekiss. Grounded out to third his last time up. So one aboard for the Red Hawks, two outs. Wakekiss, of course, is the center fielder. Gets a sign from third base coach. Curveball just outside. Owen, a one and oh. Oh, quick pick. And back to the base is Bauman. Fly ball, shallow left. It's going to drop for a base hit. Bauman turns third and will stay at third. And that's going to be a blue double for Wakis. That one just fell into no man's land. And just like that, the Red Hawks have two runners in scoring position with two outs. And Jacob Bryant is the batter. Bryant flied out to left his first time up. So he's their cleanup hitter. So Hawks have an opportunity here to put some runs, more runs on the board. Curveball high, ball one. Foul back out of play by Bryant. One and one. This would be a big out for Phelps to get here if he can. Pop up on the first base side and it's snagged by the second baseman. Jared Hart, and that gets Phelps out of a jam. No runs, one hit, two left on. Go to the bottom of the third, still Frontier 1, Greenfield nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball, Frontier Community Access Television. So it'll be Phelps, Peabody, and Colin Cloutier. The First, second, and third batters to start this third inning. Phelps struck out his first time up. Phelps would love to generate some offense as help and help his cause here, as he is the pitcher of record. Ben Arnold winds and deals. Strike in the outside corner. Fastball. 0 and 1. To Owen Phelps. Big cut by Phelps. Strike two. And he is behind 0 and 2. Curveball just outside. One and two. And a 
Breaking ball is fouled back as Felt stays alive. And fouled off. Felt still hanging in there. As Arnold has been dealing in this game. Got three strikeouts, looking for number four here. And he gets it. Fastball high. Blew it right by Phelps. That's the fourth strikeout for Arnold in this game. And that will bring up the third baseman, Joel Peabody. Peabody struck out his first time up. He's made some couple of great plays in the field defensively. And Peabody pops it up out of play. Makes the count 0 and 1. Fastball high and outside. It makes it 1 and 1. a base hit to left field for Peabody. Got that breaking ball out over the plate and Peabody cranked it to left and he is aboard with one out and the catcher Colin Cloutier coming to the plate. Cloutier is one for one with a single his first time up. So Peabody aboard with one out. Arnold looks it back from the stretch Ball outside and low. 1 0. This rain is starting to fall a little bit here at Vets. High and inside, ball two, 2 0. And a foul off as Peabody was off with the pitch, but the foul tip ended up in the mid of DeForest. That makes it one and two. And he's off again. DeForest with the throw to second, high and safe. So Peabody steals second and is now in scoring position. Got a good jump on that pitch. Vernon now at second. Arnold from the stretch. Curveball and Cloutier pokes it into right field. That's gonna be a base hit. Coming around is Cloutier, or rather, uh, coming around is Peabody. He stops at third. So it's a single for Colin Cloutier, his second hit of the game. The runners at first and third with one out for Hunter Campbell. The first baseman cleanup hitter. So this probably is Greenfield's best chance to put a run on the board here. Campbell, his last time out. Flight out to the second baseman, Bauman. Campbell cranks it up the middle, base hit. And that is going to score Peabody, and it's one to one. Hunter Campbell laced that one to center field. That moves Cloutier to second. And just like that, we're tied at one. No doubt about that one. Campbell with an RBI single. Ties the game at one. Two men on, still one out. And the batter is Jared Hart. And Hart pops it up. First pitch swinging. 
Bauman puts it away. And that brings up Jake Sack with two outs. And Jake Sack struck out his first time up. But Greenfield has tied it up, and they still have two runners on base. A single could give them the lead. Arnold from the stretch. Fastball, strike one, outside corner. 0-1. And Arnold steps off the rubber. Forcing Cloutier back to second base. Fly ball to right field and snagging it is Kiernan Freeman to retire the side. One run on three hits and two left on. Move to the fourth inning. We're tied at one. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. That's a good one here from Veterans Stadium. We knew it would be. It's going to be Dylan Appinell, Karen Kiernan Freeman, and Kalen Evans. Leading off the fourth for the Frontier Red Hawks, who are tied now with the Greenfield Green Wave, courtesy of the RBI single by Hunter Campbell, which scored Joel Peabody to tie this game. Of course, uh, Dylan Appinell was hit a single that ended up resulting in a run as uh, Donovan Hoffman was the courtesy runner and scored on a pass ball. That, well, that accounts for Frontier's only run in this game. Appinell is the DH. Phelps winds and deals. Curve ball on the inside corner, strike one. Nice pitch. Appinell got a hold of that one. That's a gap shot. All the way to the fence. Appinell going for two and he is in with a double as he took that one all the way to the wall. A big double for Dylan Appinell. That'll bring up Freeman. So he got every bit of that breaking ball. Took it almost to the 375 foot marker out there in center field, left center. And Karen Freeman, the right fielder. Phelps pitches inside ball one, just inside. Rain falling a bit harder now. Phelps from the stretch. And strike one. One and one to Kiernan. Freeman fouled, or rather flew out rather, to the left fielder his first time up. Slow curve just misses outside, two and one. Pokes it into left field and he flies out. And it's put away by the left fielder, Jake Sack. That'll bring up Kalen Evans, the third baseman who doubled his first time up, got as far as third. Evans swings up the middle, base hit. Appinell lumbers around third and stops. And Evans takes second on the throw. So Kalen Evans is two for two. 
Appenell advances to third. And again, so two doubles for Kalen Evans. Runners at second and third for Bryce Jordan. As the Hawks looking to do some damage here in the fourth. the dugout. Running. I think we're, are we gonna have a pinch hitter? Running. Nope, yeah, hitter. And the pinch hitter is gonna be Alec Jordan. Alec Jordan is pinch hitting. For Bryce Jordan. Outside, Alec Jordan, the senior, he's a catcher and a DH by trade, and is now pinch hitting. Oh, way out in front of that one. One and one. Jordan's a big kid, has got some power, looks like. Chris Williams could be looking for the dagger here for the Hawks. Ball low in the dirt, 2-1 is the count. Jordan got a piece of that one. Two and two. And one out, two on. Courtesy of back-to-back -back doubles by Dylan Appenell and Kalen Evans. Jordan fouls that one off again, a breaking ball. I don't think Phillips wants to throw him any, any heat at this point. As the rain falls steadier. Sort of a, almost a swinging bunt goes foul as Phelps jammed him with a fastball. Count still even to Jordan. This is quite a duel going on here between Jordan and Phelps. Jordan pops it up behind second base. And it's not going to be deep enough for Appenel to tag. And that is the second out. It's going to bring up to Forrest, the catcher. Two outs. And... Aaron Campbell comes to the mound, or is that uh, one of the coaches comes to the mound to talk to Phelps? It's like Vinny Melendez out there. Red Hawks threatening here, two outs, two on. Runners at second and third. And the catcher, Garrett DeForest, Going up against Owen Phelps.
Phelps looking in at Cloutier, gets the sign. And the pitch. And he hits DeForest. Hit him on the back. So DeForest hit by pitch. And that loads the bases for Hildreth. So, what a turn of events here. As the bases are full of Red Hawks. And we go to the top of the order. And Matty Hildreth. Hildreth has struck out and flied out. 0 for 2. Love to get his first hit here with runners in scoring position all across the diamond. Hildreth pops it up. And the shortstop will take it. That's Jake Sewell. And that will retire the side. We played three and a half from Betts Field, and we're still tied at one. Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. They go to the bottom of the fourth. It'll be Sewell, Hazelton, and Phillips. The batters for Greenfield. Frontier, a little bit of a squander in that last half inning. They had the bases loaded, but could not advance the runners. And now here's the bunt, dropped down nicely. Arnold Fields and throws the first and gets him. So Sula is out one to three. That brings up Nate Hazelton, who was sacrificed one to three in his first time up. Looks as though the rain has passed. Curve ball in for strike one. High ball one. Runs the count even at one and one. Called strike, one and two. And a swing and a miss. DeForest is able to throw out the runner. So Hazelton strikes out, and there are two gone in the fourth. Josh Phillips, the right fielder, is the batter. And he ground out, grounded out one to three. Last time up. Fastball inside, strike one. Strike two on the outside corner. A quick 0-2 on Josh Phillips. Curve ball. Strike three on the outside corner. One, two, three. Go the green wave. We move on to the fifth. Tied at one. Red Hawk Baseball. Frontier Community Access Television. Bauman, Wakis, and Bryant. The three hitters for Frontier. Looking to try and break this deadlock. 1-1, one, one, a dandy from Veterans Field in Greenfield. Chris Collins, Kevin Murphy, and Alec Eckel here. Intermittent rain showers, which is pretty much the new normal in spring in Franklin County this year. 
From here, the Red Hawks take on the Turner's Falls Indians Thursday night. Our plan is to have that game for you as well from Bordeaux Field. Bauman has grounded out to third and walked. Phelps paints the outside corner, strike one. Curve ball in the dirt. Even as a count at one and one. Swings, ground ball to short. And no! Throw in the dirt. Bowman made it. As it was a little bit of a low throw by the shortstop, Jake Sewell. And Hunter Campbell tried to snag it out of the dirt but couldn't. And that's going to probably go, I think, in E3. We'll see what they score it. But bottom line is, Bowman is aboard on the error. Batter will be Connor Wake center fielder. Grounded up to third and hit a double his last time up. So a bit of a break there for Frontier. They've got a runner. That should have been out number one. And Bauman is a threat to steal. Phelps from the stretch. Low ball one. One and out to Wakus. Wakus swings and drives it into the gap. Into right center. Here comes Bauman around second. Around third. They're going to send him home. Here comes the throw to the plate. And he is out the plate. A great relay toss there. And Bauman is cut down trying to score. It's a double for Wakekiss, but a great relay throw. And they got him at home. I did not think they were going to catch him. I thought Bauman had it beat, but great block of the plate by Colin Cloutier, and that saves a run, and we're still tied at one. Jake Bryant, <coughs> excuse me, at the plate. Curve ball, high for ball one. Jake has flown out, uh, flown out to the left field and has doubled in this game. High ball two, two and oh. Wakis with the lead off second. That was a great, great relay throw to catch Bowman at the plate. Phelps on the stretch. Swing and a miss. As Bryant was out ahead of that one. Dylan Appenell is on deck. Pop up, and the second baseman, Hart, swallows it up, and that makes it two down. That brings up Appenell again. Appenell hit a double. Actually, he's two for two. A double and a single in this game. Curve ball, strike one. Two outs, one on. 
And what are they going to say? Was that a balk? He walked him. He walked him. Okay, so Appenel, he walks. That was a late call. I didn't, that was weird, but. So Appenel walks, and that will bring up Kiernan Freeman. So runners at first and second. Two out for Kiernan. Now pick off play to second. And back is Wakis. I think we're good. And the throw down to third, he's out. As they sent Wakis, and Cloutier cuts him down, stealing. And that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, two left on. We go to the bottom of the fifth, still tied at one. Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the fifth now, and we're back at the top of the order. Owen Phelps, who has struck out twice in this game. Phelps, Peabody, and Cloutier are the hitters. Greenfield looking to get some offense going here. They are still tied at one with Frontier. And a good pitcher's duel between Phelps and Ben Arnold. Arnold lines and deals. Strike one. Big cut by Phelps. Ball one low. One and one. Strike two as Phelps was showing bunt. Again, neither one of these teams have been beaten in league play yet. This is Greenfield's first shot. Frontier's 0-1 in league play. That was just outside, 2-2. Two two. The winner of this game will ostensibly take over first place in that league. Phelps fights off a high fastball. Count still even at 2-2. Two two. Now DeForest is going to come out and talk to Arnold for a second. They want to get square, I think, on the signals. Phelps is over two with two strikeouts. and love to get a hold of one here. Oh, ho, ho, nasty pitch. Curve on the outside corner. Phelps knew it, too. He's back in the dugout. That was just filthy by Ben Arnold. And that will bring up Joel Peabody. Peabody has struck out and has singled and scored a run. Strike one. Seems like Arnold is getting stronger and faster and more accurate the longer this game goes. Lines and deals. Curveball swinging a miss strike two. That is five consecutive strikes. Curveball swing, ground ball. Evans fires to first. And there are two gone. That brings up Colin Cloutier. Cloutier has. Two hits in this game. Got as far as second in the third inning. Come on, 
outside, ball one. It's the first ball that, that uh, Arnold has thrown in this inning. Ball two, inside. Good eye by Cloutier. All three, three and zero oh to Cloutier. Will Shu give him the green light here on three and zero? Oh? Four straight pitches and a walk to Colin Cloutier. So after being lights out for the first two batters, Arnold walks Cloutier on four straight pitches. That brings up big Hunter Campbell, who has an RBI knocked in the lone run for Greenfield in this game to plate Peabody in the third. Curveball outside, ball one. So just as, just as I said that Arnold was looking stronger and more accurate, he's now thrown five, four consecutive balls. Five consecutive balls. Hunter got a piece of that one. Evens the count at one and one. Pop up. The forest back for it. It was going to be out of play. One and two now to Hunter Campbell. The first baseman, the cleanup hitter. Getting a great winter for the Greenfield Greenway basketball team. Hunter was one of those guys who was a big part of that team and will be next year. And he's caught looking. Strike three. Nasty pitch on the outside corner, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits. No, uh, one man left on. The end of five, we're tied at one. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. We move now to the top of the sixth inning. It'll be Karen and Freeman, Cameron Evans, and Jordan, the hitters. Freeman was at bat when Connor Wakis was cut down stealing third to end the fifth. So Freeman will start off with a fresh count to begin the sixth. Okay, we're tied at one. A battle of unbeatens in league play. Of course, Frontier 7-0, perfect on the season. Greenfield at 6-2. and two. Frontier's next matchup is at Turner's. Thursday night under the lights at Bordeaux Field. May the third. Phelps dealing to Freeman. Strike at the knees. 0-1. Curve ball low. Evens the count at one and one. The rain has stopped. We get a nice uh, sunset underway here in Greenfield. Lights are on at Betts. Curve ball inside. Makes it two and one. Freeman, a base hit to left field. Just went with a pitch away and drilled it in the left field. So Kiernan Freeman is on with his first hit of the game. 
That brings up Kalen Evans. Kalen has a pair of doubles in this game. Got as far as third in the second inning. Kalen squares up to bunt and takes the ball outside. Would not ex be surprised to see Kalen drop one down here. He's got great speed, as does Kiernan. Throw over to first, and Kiernan backsliding. Freeman leads off first. And Kalen drops down to bunt. It's a good one. Flutier tries to go to second, throws in the center field. <laughs> Advancing on to third is Freeman. He'll make the turn and stop. So it'll be an infield hit for Kalen and a throwing error on the catcher. So just like that, the Hawks have runners at the corners and nobody out. We got a conference on the mound here. I think that the, they're gonna go over and check on Kalen. It looked like he may have pulled up when he went past first base. Coach Williams is checking on him. And you can see when he turned back up after crossing first, it looked like he pulled up and came back up the line slowly. Looks like Kalen's going to stay in there. So uh, runners at the corners, nobody out for Bryce Jordan, who was pinch hit for last time up for Alec Jordan. But Bryce is going to swing away here. So Phelps in a bit of trouble here in the sixth. Kalen takes off. Flutier fires into center field, and that's going to score a run. Evans will go to third. Freeman will play, and it's two to one. <coughs> that could be a big one right there. As Cloutier tried to take out Evans at second, the throw was way over everything into center field. And Evans will get a courtesy runner for him. I'm not sure who that is, number 18. It might be Gabe Guchinski. <laughs> Strike for Phelps. So Frontier has taken the lead on a throw to into center field that allowed Kiernan Freeman to score. Now the coach from Frontier is talking things over with the Greenfield coaching. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's a bit of a delay. I'm not sure what the discussion is. We'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. Not sure what the situation is here. I know that Coach Williams is headed to the bench. Situation is this Frontier has taken lead two to one on the errant throw into center field, which allowed Freeman to score. Evans has been relieved for a courtesy runner, and Bryce Jordan's at the plate. And now they're going to bring out a new courtesy runner. That's Corbin Blight. So Corbin Blight's going to run. I think the problem may have been that that Q 
kid was not, his number was not on the roster. So Blight is at third. Infield is in for Greenfield. Jordan at the plate. Jordan pokes it up the middle, base hit. That is going to score Corbin Blight. An RBI single for Blake Bryce Jordan, and it is three to one, Red Hawks. So they pulled in the infield, thinking that they were going to have a play at the plate, and Jordan just placed it beautifully up the middle. And it's three one Hawks, and that brings up Garrett DeForest, the catcher. Curveball outside, ball one. So the Hawks have opened up a 3-1 lead in what's been a, so far, a pretty big sixth inning. Garrett DeForest, high ball two. The catcher, DeForest, has flown out to the pitcher. And was hit by a pitch. And was hit again. So DeForest has taken two for the team. And has been hit by a pitch. And the umpire, I don't know if he's coming out and warning Phelps or not, but that's the second time he plunked DeForest in this game. I don't think it was intentional. Tom Sushin had come to the mound, and that may be it for Owen Phelps. DeForest tends to crowd the plate, and certainly that was the case the first time he was hit. And I think that was the case that time as well. We have a pitching change. So Phelps is going to be done for the night. And we'll see who they have coming in to pitch. They're sending Peabody out to right field, it looks like. So Phelps goes to third. So Phillips goes to first base. Phelps goes to third. Hunter Campbell comes on to pitch. And Peabody goes to right field. Those are the changes. So Phelps, I think, had a, a good outing, but just Frontier got to him here in the sixth. It was quite a pitcher's duel between Phelps and Arnold throughout this game. And now Hunter Campbell will come on and try and shut down what has been a pretty good Frontier inning so far. Okay, nobody out. We have... Uh, Jordan at second, and we have DeForest at first, and that brings up Matt Hildreth. Hunter Campbell on the mound for Greenfield. Strike one to Matt Hildreth, who has flown out twice and struck out once in this game. And fouls this one off. 0-2. Oh <laughs> Round ball. Double play ball. Second to first. Double play. A nice twin killing. And that moves Jordan over to third. But a quick two outs as Greenfield turns to it. It's a big double play for the Wave. Two 
Two gone for Bauman, who was cut down trying to score in the fifth. Strike one by Campbell. Brian Bauman has had a solid game. Low, ball one. Campbell from the stretch. High for a ball. That was a big double play for Greenfield as Frontier was on their way to a big inning, and he still could be, but he had two outs. Bauman at the plate, Jordan at third. Bauman, fly ball. Right center field and hauled in by Peabody to end the inning. But Frontier gets two. And then the end of five and a half, Red Hawks three, Green Wave one. Red Hawk Baseball and Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning now. And it'll be Hart, Sack, and Sewell up for Greenfield. Jared Hart is two for three in this game. Doubled, singled, and flied out to the second baseman. And Ben Arnold. Ball one outside. Arnold looking to close this one out and send the Red Hawks to 8 0 on the season, 2 0 in the league. Strike inside. Got the corner. It's 1 and 1. Pop up, out of play, and it makes the count one and two. Yeah, I know. I got you. Curveball, strike three. What a pitch. That just had everybody fooled, including the batter. One down for Jake Sack, the left fielder. He has struck out, and he has flied out in this game to center field. Pop up. Again out of play, 0-1. Arnold deals. High pitch, strike two. That was just a nasty fastball that was up around the letters. <coughs> so Sack, with two strikes on him. Arnold winds and deals. Just outside. One and two to Sack. Curve ball in the dirt, two and two. Jake Sack is the son of Gary Sack, who was a great athlete in his own right at Turner's Falls High School years ago, back, back in my day. But I think I played against Gary in baseball. Two and two. Ground ball to third. Evans snares it over to first. And there are two out. Five to three. And that brings up Jake Sewell. Two. 
Sewell is the shortstop. He has singled and has grounded out to the pitcher. Strike one. Arnold is just firing the ball tonight. Just outside, one and one. Arnold winds and curveball and popped up. And DeForest will take it. And that will end the inning. Wave goes one, two, three. At the end of six is Frontier Three, Refield One. This is Red Hawk Baseball, Frontier Community Access Television. Top of the seventh. It's going to be Connor Wakekiss, Jacob Bryant, and Dylan Appinell. <coughs> the hitters for. The Hawks, as they try and extend their 3-1 lead. <coughs> we'll see if Ben Arnold will come out to try and close this one out or if we'll see a relief, but the way Ben's been throwing, and my guess is he'll try and finish this one himself. Wakis has flied out twice. Strike one, Hunter Campbell again on the mound for the wave. Ground ball to short. Bobbled by the shortstop, Sewell. And Wakus is on with an E6. That'll bring up Jacob Bryant, the first baseman. Well, that ground ball kind of handcuffed Jake Sewell a little bit. Pick off throw, unsuccessful. Wakis is a threat to run. Hunter Campbell with a strike down the middle. Pickoff move again. Safe. From the stretch, and the pitch. Strike at the knees. Two strikes on Bryant. Pickoff move, very close that one. I'll tell you, Campbell has a great pickoff move for a righty. Two strikes on Jake Bryant. Another throw back to first. Definitely keeping an eye on Connor Wakis. Pitch in the dirt. Two and two. Campbell steps off the rubber. After hearing it from the Frontier uh, dugout, all the Frontier players standing up right now. A lot of chatter going on right now. Swing and a miss. Throw down to second. And it goes into center field. And Wakus 
will take third. So again, a rough night for Cloutier throwing a second. So Bryant strikes out. Or the, yeah, and uh, Wakus is now at third. That brings up Appenel. Two for three. Double and a single. Frontier looking for a little bit of insurance here. Front the infield is way in on the grass. Appenel rounds it. Foul. Right near us. Owen one to Dylan Appenel. <coughs> Ground ball back to the pitcher. Looks like it's back, goes to first. Two outs. Yep, and they tagged him. The throw was high, took him off the base, but Appenel went out of the base pack. They score that one to three. And that brings up Kiernan Freeman. Who had a base hit and scored a run in the last inning. He is one for three. <laughs> Greenfield infield back at regular depth. They'll try to play it to first on a ground ball. On the stretch, Campbell. Just outside, ball one. Looking ahead to the Greenfield 7th, it'll be Sewell, Hazleton, and Josh Phillips. <laughs> Ground ball again, back to Campbell, over to first. And that will end the inning. We now go to the bottom of the 7th, last ups for the Wave as they trail 3-1. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go down to the bottom of the 7th. <coughs> Ben Arnold looking to close this one out for a complete game win. <clears throat> Hawks lead 3-1. to one. Jake Sewell, Nate Hazleton, and Josh Phillips are the batters for the wave. Sewell has singled and has grounded out to the pitcher in this one. Wait a second. Sorry, we have a pitch. Pinch hitter, it looks like. This is actually Brody Baird. Brody Baird is pinch hitting for Jake Sewell. <laughs> Owen oh, two to Baird. Third ball, strike three. One down. And that'll bring up. Phillips. Phillips tries to bunt. Right two. Phelps has struck out three times in this game. Ben Arnold looking to close it out for the Hawks. Fouled off, strike one. 
Strike two. Arnold one strike away from striking out the side to end this one and send the Red Hawks to 8-0 and oh on the season. Strike three. A perfect three strikeout seventh. And the Frontier Red Hawks win a big rivalry game against the Greenfield Greenway. The final score, the Red Hawks three. And the Wave won with the win. Frontier moved to 8 0 on the season, 2 0 in the Hampshire County League West. The Greenfield Green Wave dropped to 6 3 and 0 and 1 in the Hampshire County League West. Next up for the Red Hawks, the Turners Falls Indians at Bordeaux Field. But a commanding win and a strong performance on the mound. A complete game win for Ben Arnold and the Frontier Red Hawks come away with a big road win against the Greenfield Green Wave. The final score again, Veterans Field and Greenfield, the Greenfield, or Frontier Red Hawks three, the Greenfield Green Wave one. For my colleagues, Kevin Murphy and Alec Eckel, I'm Chris Collins, so long, and thanks for watching Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television.